I ate once again. Look. Look. I ate. Like, look at this. If this shit doesn't go viral, I'm jumping off the bridge because I look too good. I'm sad and unhappy. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi. Um, it's nice that you can click on this video and watch this makeup tutorial and I hope that you enjoy. And I also hope that you become a new subscriber. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. So today I'm doing like an alien goth makeup tutorial. Like I'm really trying to get back into doing like creative makeup looks, like really, you know, detailed, unmistakable makeup looks because you know, eyeshadow is eyeshadow, that's one thing. But I feel like when you can do eyeliner, like once you've mastered that, like you could do any look. And I'm and I really believe that like eyeliner is just like something that I've always wanted to, you know, get really good at. So basically if I pause, I'm it's because I'm smoking. I'm just gonna be honest with you right now. I'm doing this voiceover in my car and I'm in Florida right now and if you're if you live in Florida, you know how fucking hot it is during summertime. It's like like 93 fucking degrees in this car, and this is a black Nissan, so like it's hot in here. <laughs> but um, yeah, whatever. And the smoking probably isn't helping, but whatever. Uh, yeah. So I saw Stranger Things. The I finally saw season four, and I watched volume two a few nights ago, and I just want to give my thoughts on that. Here's the thing. With Vecna, I really do like how they went about explaining how the how Vecna used to be um, one of Papa's patients and he was the first. I think that was really, really interesting. I liked how they did that. But here is the thing. How is it every time she kills him off, he's still alive? I'm just like, so when she kills him, he goes into the upside down. Like, is that what this is? Like, I, I'm so confused about that. But... I didn't like that they killed Eddie. I feel like he should have survived. And if they were going to kill him, I feel like they could have did it in like maybe a more reasonable way. And when I say reasonable, I mean like more that makes sense because it's like I get like his things like, oh, I want to be a hero, you know, blah, 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 blah. But like I feel like he could have been a hero in like a more hero type way because like I get you trying to buy them time by going back down there. But like. He, you were gonna get slaughtered like you're going down there by yourself and all he had was like a little uh trash can lid with spikes on it like that's not gonna help you against all them freaking bats like i don't know i i get what he was trying to do but i don't know it, it was sad you know didn't want him to die obviously because i liked his character i thought his character was like really cool um and then max like that i really didn't understand like so she's gonna be in a coma in season five i have a feeling they're gonna do something with her like they're gonna give her like some sort of powers like she's powerful in her in a coma like i don't know something like that but that was just weird how they did it like oh if you're gonna kill her just kill her like why you, you so she's gonna be paralyzed and blinded and she's gonna be in a coma like damn i was like oh no but i'm sure defra one and defra two will come up with something but yeah, that's just how I felt about it. But yeah, I, I liked it and I'm excited for what they're gonna do for season five. So it should be interesting. Speaking of odd occurrences, like that whole Doja Cat and Noah Schnapp thing was just so funny. And I'm not even gonna get into it because I know like everybody's already heard about it. And I'm sure like you're tired of hearing about it. But I just thought it was really fucking funny. Like this shit could have been avoided like from both sides. Like it really could have just been like an easy, an easy like fix like I don't know but people like I, I get it's the internet and you know people will like make a huge thing out of nothing but like the memes and jokes are really funny I enjoyed that so um I have this great idea for a Halloween cosplay I want to do and it's like um, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm really excited for it because, and I thought of it today because I saw this hat that I had. I'm like, OMG, like, why didn't I ever think like, oh, let's put two and two together and make this happen. Like, I don't, cause I, I know it's, it, it's confusing the way I'm explaining it, but I'm, I'm just excited for the cosplay. I think it's going to be really cool. And I've got an outfit for it. Um, I literally have the entire outfit that the character wore 
um i'm not gonna okay i'll spill it it's okay it's a netflix original i'll just put i'll just say that and i'm gonna be cosplaying one of the characters in the show but i'm not gonna say who um but i'm excited because they're my favorite character so you'll just have to stay tuned for that i posted this tiktok um a few days ago and it got viral and i was like yay you know that's great and it was like me duetting this other person and i don't know if you saw it It was like a um when you're on facetime with a jamaican emo girl it was that tiktok um but yeah and then tiktok freaking took it down every single viral video i get tiktok deletes it or they like stop it or they block it once it starts getting a lot of views it's so weird i mean like i get it they're racist but like People are starting to become, like, openly racist now. Like, they're, like, really brave with their racism. Um, which is no bueno. That's not good. Uh, so, definitely gonna have to do something about that. But, yeah, I was just disappointed. Because I'm like, oh, man. Like, the shit was doing well. And it would have been some great traction. Because I had my face beat in it. Um, but it's whatever. On to the next thing, I guess. I kind of just, like every situation in my life, I kind of try, and I really do mean try, to make let it roll off my back. But it's a very heavy weight to roll off of my back sometimes that um, I have some trouble letting it go. <laughs> but it's whatever, you know. I feel like a lot of the things I've learned is with time. Like, with every situation that you go through, you, you learn how to deal with it better. So it can happen again, but now you know, oh, this is how I can deal with it this time because of what happened last time. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to, like, let every situation be a lesson, no matter, like, how small or big the situation is. And I think that can be really helpful to you. I know this is a make it tutorial, but I really, like, sometimes I, you know, want to... Oh, and, um, I got this really great opportunity... Um, to work with this clothing brand and they're a big clothing brand. I'm not gonna say who it is yet because you know I have to do the campaign first but um, I'm really really happy and I'm glad that it's not a scam this time because I've been scammed before um, <clears throat> Ulta, but uh, yeah, so I've been scammed before so I, I'm really glad that this is like a real opportunity and I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to see it and I really like think it's going to be great because some of the Halloween cosplays I want to do like the outfits are perfect for it and I, I kind of did cosplay on my birthday I don't know if anybody saw that post I made but I did actually do one um I did Jessica Rabbit <laughs> which I was like I remember I said I would never do Jessica Rabbit because it was like us it was not only was it a side part but it was a it was red hair and I don't know what it is like red is my favorite color but I I just don't really do red hair that much if I do anything close to it it's orange but I don't know <clears throat> I did red hair for my birthday and I liked it you know it was it was okay I didn't like the pictures though how they came out but you'll see them these like ideas for makeup looks that I want to do but I need certain items that I don't feel I need to get them and it sucks when you have like ideas but you don't have the funds to like make it happen but like I'm really gonna try and like you know I don't know make that vision happen on a budget I guess like that's what I try to do I might like have to do like a video like um dollar store makeup something like that i don't know um because i think it would be really cool to film like a a low budget makeup tutorial or like um show you guys what i buy um what i use um because like everything is so expensive now like mac and cheese used to be two dollars for a box and now it's like eight dollars like well it's an exaggeration like seven dollars at the most like it's really fucking expensive it's ridiculous um that 30 second part that you just heard i filmed that last night i was doing the voiceover 
but I fell asleep while I was doing the voiceover because I was so tired. So that's why I'm doing it again in the morning, which is why I sound better. Oh, and it's also my sister's birthday today, so happy birthday. I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my videos. But anyways, so I cannot figure out what hairstyle I want to do next. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do the thing, this bop, the bop I wanted to do. But I'm just like, no. I, I don't know. I just feel like I look weird with short hair because my face is already shaped weird enough. But it's fine. I think that if I crawl on Pinterest long enough, I will find something. And speaking of Pinterest crawling, I'm going to do a Pinterest crawling video soon. So nobody take that idea. Nobody fucking take that. All right. I'm doing that video first. I'm going to do a Pinterest crawling video where I just go around on my For You page on Pinterest and show you guys. Um, I don't know. I'll just show you guys. Basically, it's basically what a Pinterest crawling video is, at least to me. And I just had that idea because I'm just like, I love Pinterest so much. Pinterest is like my Instagram, basically. Because, like, Instagram sucks. It's like, they don't show you anything you really want to see anyways. But Pinterest does. Um, so yeah. But I'm definitely going to be doing that video soon. There is, like, two things I want to address. One, you guys, like, make sure to turn on your notifications so that way you don't miss the videos. And I'm going to try to be more consistent about posting on Sunday. And today is Sunday. So I don't know what time this video is going to go up. Maybe tonight. Hopefully, at least by 2 o'clock this video will be up. But anyways, basically what I'm saying is, um, the second thing I wanted to address was the fact that I don't talk while I film the videos anymore. I'm going to try to, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to try something, you know, film them on a certain day where there's not a lot of noise, but I can't talk in my videos for that reason. Like the person, uh, I live with a person that works from home, so you know, you can't be loud and you can't, you know, make too much noise, but it's, it's still very difficult because I'm not you know in that place that I was anymore for the people that know that I was kicked out of my home like you know I was kicked out forced out illegally it's so funny it's actually not it's pretty traumatizing I don't know why I say that but I don't know what to say but get, that's why I don't talk in the in my videos but I filmed uh get ready with me that's gonna be up after this one and i actually do talk while i do my makeup for once and i i'm like you know it's my birthday i don't care i'm gonna talk but yeah so that's why i did it so stay tuned for that get ready with me i'm really excited for it it's gonna be great um yeah but thank you guys so much for watching and i really really appreciate it um i love you guys and i will see you in my next video Oh, I almost forgot. For the people that wanted to hear the song that I made, um, if this video gets a thousand views, then I will play a snippet of the song.